I'm Danny Epperson, and I'm inside the beloved Commodore Dinner Theater in downtown Portsmouth. Thanks for joining me for WHRO Cinema 15 and our presentation of the 1941 psychological thriller, Suspicion. Trust is the foundation of any good relationship, but there are times when something doesn't feel right and you can't help but be a little suspicious. That's the gist of our feature presentation, Suspicion. The 1941 psychological thriller from director Alfred Hitchcock stars Cary Grant as enigmatic playboy Johnny Acegarth, and Joan Fontaine is Lena McLaidlaw, the young heiress who falls for his charms. Suspicion is Cary Grant's first Alfred Hitchcock film and the second for Fontaine, who just the year before starred in Rebecca. Hitchcock moved to the United States in 1939, but he'd already established his reputation as a filmmaker, having made more than two dozen films in England. Even though it would be another decade before Hitchcock reached his creative peak, you can see the foreshadowing of his signature style in Suspicion. There's humor mixed with suspense, unconventional characters, moody lighting, and dramatic camera work. The film was a critical and box office success, but most importantly, it confirmed that Hitchcock could make it in Hollywood. Suspicion was nominated for three Oscars, including Best Picture and Best Score, but the only one to take home a statue at the 1942 awards was 24-year-old Joan Fontaine. She beat out some serious competition, including Betty Davis, Barbara Stanwyck, and her own sister, Olivia de Havilland. Fontaine's Best Actress Oscar also gives her the distinction of being the only performer to ever earn an Academy Award for a Hitchcock film. By the end of this drama, you'll understand why she won. I'll be back after the movie to tell you about not one, but two Hitchcock cameos, and I'll give you a glimpse behind the scenes. But for now, hit the lights, turn off that phone, and get ready for suspicion. Hello, monkey face. I think Cary Grant was the only man alive who could get away with calling a woman monkey face. When Suspicion was released in 1941, Cary Grant was a major movie star who sold tickets because he was a likable and funny leading man. The role of Johnny was a much different kind of character for him. Hitchcock's original script had a much darker, sinister ending with Johnny poisoning Lena's glass of milk. But the studio didn't think audiences would accept Cary Grant as a bad guy. They insisted that the director rewrite the ending to protect Cary Grant's image. Hitchcock compromised, but was never happy with the final film. Suspicion has plenty of signature touches from the master of suspense. Known for his cameos, Hitchcock pops up after 45 minutes mailing a letter. But there was another unusual appearance in this film. The director's dog, the Sealy Ham Terrier that Johnny brings to Lena, is actually Hitchcock's, who oddly enough is also named Johnny. Hitchcock kept Sealy Hams for many years. In his film, The Birds, Hitchcock walks out of a pet store with Sealy Hams on a leash. And there are always his clever twists on composition and camera work. As Johnny ascended the stairs with Lena's milk, I'm sure you, like me, couldn't help but think about what else was in that glass. Hitchcock focuses your attention and makes you suspicious about a benign glass of milk. He did this by keeping his star in the shadows and adding a small battery-operated light to the bottom of the glass. Rather effective, right? Well, that's all I have for this week. I'm Danny Epperson, and I will see you next time for WHRO Cinema 15 when we bring you another classic movie.